What is going on guys, Extra Relic here, you guys are watching a, another video, it's going to be a Call of Duty video, but it's not going to be Search and Destroy, it is, uh, what's it called, Money in the Dank, um, and I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a breakdown as this video goes on, uh, but the video itself is just, uh, me going, going off and, uh, getting a 70 gun streak using the Desert Eagle in the Juggernaut suit, and winning the game in overtime because I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I called my Moab in. We, I should have just waited till overtime and uh, called in my Moab and uh, eliminated them all in overtime, but wasn't smart enough to do that. So, but I thought you guys might just want a little, uh, little breakdown of what money in the dank actually is. And essentially, when you start, you get a pick out of five classes. The perks are set the same for all of them. It starts off, starts you off with sleight of hand. Uh, then a second one, hardline, slide of hand, hardline, and then it gives you steady aim. And the specialist package is set on all five classes as well. And you get scavenger in the first slot, then quick draw in the second, and stalker in the third. And everyone has to choose out of five classes that have those perks. The five guns that they offer you are an MP5, and then you can choose an M4A1. And those are the Assault Rifle Submachine Guns that you'll see most people running around with. But they also give you a few other options, a PKP Pachang Pachang! as a, a light machine gun option, the L11 as a sniper option, and the model as a shotgun option. So they kind of give you one of each kind of gun. Uh, no ride shields, unfortunately, but uh, they give you a little bit of option there. And everyone is really stuck to those classes, so it's kind of nice because there's no kill streaks, there's no uh, silencers, there's no assassin. There's no nothing. Uh, if you shoot, you show up on the radar. You, if you hide in a corner, you're not really going to do too well. And when you're the bomb carrier, you can really play the objective kind of, or sit back a bit. Uh, and I recommend playing the objective. In this game I didn't, just because I was playing with people who I played with for a few games and they all like to have some fun. And we ended up on the same team and just uh, they were like, oh screw it, just, let's just uh, take these kills these ga this game and uh, run them out of the run them out of the game basically but they never left <laughs> um, but yeah so that's basically the idea it's sabotage and once you pick up the bomb you become a juggernaut the only gun you have is a desert eagle you can't pick up any other guns you don't have any grenades or anything so you're kind of stuck with it but you can still get your specialist bonus and become an absolute beast and the biggest thing when you get your specialist bonus you become a fast motherfucking juggernaut when <laughs> Regularly, uh, before you get your specialist bonus, you are really slow. You're just like a regular juggernaut, a uh, regular juggernaut suit, like in any other game mode where you think you would get juggernaut. But once you get that uh, specialist bonus, you are just a freaking. You're like freaking Usain Bolt in a juggernaut suit. It's uh, it's it's pretty fun, and I don't know. I, it's really interesting how it actually came to be a game mode, just like uh, All or Nothing actually. Both game modes were actually ideas from members of Reddit, Reddit Modern Warfare 3 subreddit, and they kind of just posted their ideas on the subreddit, and uh, Activision, or Treyarch, who, Activision? I want to say Act, no, I, I I can't think of it right now, I want, okay, let's go with Activision, I think it's Activision, uh, they have some community kind of people who hang out on reddit uh, I know Dave Flanagan is one of them uh, and if they see a good idea on reddit they actually try and pass it on to people who can make a decision and see if that would work in the game if it's a really good idea and that's what happened with both all or nothing and money in the dank um, all or nothing was not the guy's username but if you guys ever wondered why the class in all or nothing you only get an option of one class and if you ever wondered why that's called Box of Demons, it's because Box of Demons was his Reddit username. So they kind of gave a shout out to him in that one. And Money in the Dank, I think it was actually even All or Nothing, no, uh, Box of Demons, who said that, who really liked his idea when Money in the Dank posted it on Reddit. And he kind of said that he would try and get in touch with some people that had helped him launch All or Nothing and see if they could help launch Money in the Dank. And it has worked out so uh, both of them have just uh, had good ideas posters posted on reddit and now have their their ideas in the actual game so that's pretty cool that Activision is uh, open to that sort of things and listening to the community for good ideas like that 
unfortunately just like Sabotage, it's super easy to actually control the map and spawn trap kind of the enemy team um, for an entire 10-15 to 15 minutes, which usually is what happens if you don't get a bomb plant in or have to go to overtime and finish the game. Uh, it's just a lot of uh, hard work, and especially when someone has a juggernaut suit, the pistol isn't a great weapon, obviously, a lot of people can't use it, but I've been using it for a while, I'm comfortable with it, it's super powerful, so I like it. Uh, so when I got the juggernaut suit on and kind of managed to get a uh, specialist bonus, specialist bonus makes all the difference. It's actually hard to stay alive when you are just running with a regular kind of setup and don't have those extra perks. But once you get them, it's just, uh, it's really hard to die, basically. <laughs> Especially when you know how to use the gun. So, I would say if you guys want a tip, run for that juggernaut bonus and never run into the enemy spawn. You kind of just want to stay safe and wait for them instead of rushing in there because if you get outnumbered like two, three, four guys on just you without any teammates behind you, you're gonna die easily. You just Juggernaut suit does not mean you're invincible and you don't have a good gun to take out a ton of guys just like that. I would say take on one to two guys, maybe three if you're good and have uh, more cover than they do and good aim with a desert eagle. I was actually going to post a uh, 24-3, I think it was, search and destroy game. Uh, that's seven rounds, and I don't know, I, I'm kind of iffy about it. I, I, I like it, but it's really slow play just because I wanted to go for the win. We lost the first three rounds on terminal and uh, slapped them on the way back. I went up 7-3 and three in the losing rounds and then went 17-0 in the next four rounds. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that, just because I'm not sure if it's... Uh, it's interesting. It's a little bit longer, obviously, because it is seven rounds. Um, but I kind of slow play it, making sure we get the win. Uh, just, just let me know in the comments if you guys do want to see that. I'll probably post that in the next couple days uh, if you guys do want to see that. Um, other than that, I'm super looking forward to Black Ops 2. I'm just, uh, I can't even explain how, how done I am with this Call of Duty. Um, it's not that I don't like it, honestly. I do like this Call of Duty. It's just I get frustrated with some of the shit that people kill me with sometimes, and, and the game happens sometimes. Uh, it's just I don't know. I don't I don't look bad or, or look down on this game or anything like that. It's just some people piss me off in this game, and I figure that Black Ops 2 kind of tries to address that a little bit. Um, the pick ten per pick ten kind of class setup thing is is insane. That they have added that whole new it was basically the way that uh, Modern Warfare 2 revolutionized the killstreak system from going from a 357 UAV whatever whatever to a completely customizable kind of killstreak setup that really changed the way people played the game I think because if you wanted to go for those higher killstreaks people started camping a lot more uh, it, it changed the game a lot and I think this is kind of going to have the opposite effect as the killstreak kind of setup did, because now there's a lot more customization in an actual uh, in a in a class setup, and you're going to have a lot of options that are going to cost extra points to have certain strength and cost extra points to counter certain things that you don't like, and you're really going to be both limited on the advantages you want to give yourself, and you're going to be um, costing yourself something to deal with other people's advantages that they do give themselves. So it's going to really be a more tactical kind of class setup. There's going to be a ton, like, I, I don't, I couldn't even imagine how many possible class setups there's going to be. I'm just really looking forward to it. And the fact that they changed some perks into being attachments for guns, that's huge. That's, that's just nuts. Um, as I'm kind of looking forward to it because it means a lot of people won't be able to use scopes. <laughs> they're gonna be looking for things like sleight of hand and quick draw and it's gonna cost you a, a little bit too much on your main gun I, I would feel like to put a scope on there as well some people are just gonna have to learn to deal with it and it's gonna be tougher for people who aren't as comfortable with the uh, with the game to do well and I don't know I'm, I'm just looking forward to it and uh, the things I've heard about being able to counter people who are not moving that's a huge thing. When people are just lying down or people are just kind of um, crushed in corners, I've heard a bunch of things that are going to be able to counter that and I'm really looking forward to that. So uh, That's just my thoughts on Black Ops 2. I'm probably going to be doing everything, like sniper, shotgun. 
I'm just looking forward to the whole package. Uh, knifing only looks like a ton of fun. I back black back in Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1. Uh, I I love to just go knifing only and running around with dual tomahawks and that that was my jam right there. And one of the things that I can't wait to try out are the shock charges. That shit looks awesome. It's like a freaking shock grenade on a throwing knife or something. I don't know how it works. It's like a tactical grenade, but I don't even know if you can kill someone, but it looks just just looks like a ton of fun. And the multi-team team deathmatch, that looks crazy. Uh, if you can get like a competitive kind of team versus team versus team going on, that would just... I don't know, I'm just looking forward to the whole package and the fact that they're revolutionizing basically the way COD is played. Um, and the zombies, me and my friends, my friends especially, they're, they're not big on playing a ton of multiplayer, they don't do that a lot, but they usually get really into zombies, so I'm really looking forward to getting zombies back into the game and just kind of being able to play around with my friends on zombies, so I'm definitely looking forward to basically the entire game, <laughs> the, the, and the storyline even, where I've heard that they can, you can have multiple outcomes in the end, they just they've just basically redone the game and put it put in so much effort and thinking and in-depthness is that a word I think so uh, that it's it's just gonna be an entirely new game and I'm just looking forward to it. finally having something new instead of just a skinned over call of duty <laughs> which has basically been every call of duty so far and I just feel like the more every call of duty up until now has progressively gotten more focused on making the game easier to uh, just pick up and play really and and learn instead of actually focusing on the better players and being able to have a competitive aspect on it and I'm sure Black Ops 2 is gonna have those easier kind of ways to learn the game for the newer players but it's gonna definitely have some of the more competitive and skillful kind of uh, tactical edges that you that you were hoping you were hoping that uh, one of the companies is gonna put into a game to give an advantage to the better players and I feel like they've I'm hoping they've done that um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and my thoughts on Black Ops 2 as well as the breakdown of the new game mode. See ya!